You're watching World Travel Guide. In this episode of City Guides, we will visit Spain and the city of Zaragoza. Zaragoza is the capital city of the Zaragoza province and of the autonomous community of Aragon. It is the fifth largest city in Spain. Zaragoza lies in the northeast of the Iberian Peninsula, in the rather arid depression formed by the Valley of the Abro. Zaragoza has a lot to offer visitors, from fascinating museums to grand cathedrals and fortresses. It's also a great city for a spot of shopping, fun nightlife and delicious cuisine. Zaragoza started out in the 5th century BC as an Iberian settlement on the banks of the river Abro. Then, in 14 BC everything changed as the Romans came to town and claimed this strategic colony as their own. It was named Caesar Augustus and was an outpost set up as a defense against the advancing Visigoth kingdoms. Its importance only continued to grow as it became a central spot for the expansion of Roman culture. The Moors arrived in 714, conquered the city and renamed it Saracusta. Alfonso I marched into the town in 1118 and put an end to four centuries of Muslim rule. He renamed the city Zaragoza and made it the capital of the newly formed Kingdom of Aragon. In the 15th century came the rule of the House of Austria and a line of kings beginning with Carlos I. The city expanded greatly in the 16th and 17th century and built itself up as an economic center. In 1808 the city fell under siege by Napoleon's French army. Several bloody battles destroyed much of the city. From 1936 to 1939, during the Spanish Civil War, Zaragoza endured the Battle of the Abro, witnessing some brutal fighting. It was after the death of Franco and during the transition to democracy, that Aragon, with Zaragoza as its capital, would become an autonomous community. With its soaring towers and grand presence along the banks of the Abro River, the Basilica of Our Lady of Pilar is the city's most iconic landmark. This gem of Baroque architecture was built between the 17th and 18th century. Views of the Basilica are most impressive from across the river, whereas the entrance is on the other side at the Plaza del Pilar, a spacious town square lined with elegant historical buildings. Located in the heart of Zaragoza, the Aljaferia Palace is an 11th-century fortified Moorish castle. The castle was designed on a quadrangular plan around a courtyard, and the towers are all round except for a single rectangular tower, known as the Troubadour's Tower. The Islamic-style coffered ceilings and plasterwork ornamentation give the building its charm. Today, the Palacio de la Aljaferia houses the headquarters of the Aragonese Parliament. The palace is open to the public for visits, and guided tours are available. The San Pablo Church was built in the 13th and 14th century to replace a small Romanesque chapel located on the outskirts of the town. An important example of Aragon Mudahar style, this church is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its exceptional architectural and historic value. The most noteworthy feature of this monument is its magnificent octagonal Mudahar Tower, featuring exceptional Moorish design details. Visitors can explore the art, culture, and history of the Zaragoza province at the Museo de Zaragoza. Housed in the pavilion of the 1908 Universal Expo, the museum has a large and diverse collection of items in two sections, archaeology and fine arts. The collection represents different historical and artistic periods, beginning with prehistory through the ancient Roman era and the Moorish period, continuing to the Gothic period and Renaissance until the 21st century.
The Great Park was designed and built between 1913 and 1927 and was officially opened in 1929. At this time, it was located on the outskirts of Zaragoza, which then barely had more than 160,000 inhabitants. Today, due to the expansion of the city, the park is within the urban center. For almost a century, it was the largest park in the city. Inside the park, there are plenty of natural spaces and different monuments to enjoy. The Cathedral of Zaragoza is an enormous church with five naves. Its melange of architectural styles reveal the town's complex history. Built on the site of the ancient Roman Temple of the Forum, which became a Visigoth church and then a large Muslim mosque during the Moorish era, the building was converted to a Romanesque church in the 12th century. The cathedral also has a tapestry museum that contains over 60 precious Flemish tapestries. The best time to visit Zaragoza would be spring. April and May bring out the best in the city, and the flourishing fields and energetic streets are an invigorating experience. The weather is pleasant and warm enough to enjoy all the activities, making it the peak season for tourists. Zaragoza does have an airport, which is accessible from some of Europe's big cities. But if you're in mainland Spain already, it's easy to reach from either Madrid or Barcelona. From Barcelona, you can take a three-hour bus journey to get there, and from Madrid, an 80-minute train journey. Are you going to visit Zaragoza this year? Let us know in the comments. If you loved this video, hit the like button and subscribe. You should also check out other travel guides on our channel.